small foam roller works great for leveling paint on small paint jobs with or without flow troll. I have a small paint job that requires one or two cups of paint and I want to use flow troll to help the paint to level better. The directions say to use eight ounces of flow troll to one gallon of paint and that's the same as saying one part of flow troll per 16 parts of paint. The amount of flow troll can be gradually doubled in extreme temperatures or if the paint is thick. So that's the same as saying two ounces of flow troll per 16 ounces of paint. So I can pour 16 ounces of paint into this cup measure. That's the same as two cups. And then eyeball one ounce of flow troll on top of it. Each one of these lines is one ounce. Since two tablespoons equals one ounce, I can also add two tablespoons of flow troll to the paint instead of trying to eyeball it. If I just need eight ounces of paint or one cup, I could use one tablespoon of flow troll in the eight ounces of paint. One tablespoon equals half an ounce. I'm going to uh, dry off the edge. I put two pieces of duct tape, seal them to the rim and sort of make a pour spout out of the end here. Since this is a one quart can I also could have used three quarter inch painters tape. So now I'm ready to pour my eight ounces of paint into my cup measure. Now I've shaken up the Floetro bottle and I'm going to add one tablespoon which equals a half ounce to eight ounces of paint. I take the brush and make sure it all goes in there. Now I'm going to stir this up and if I don't get enough flow or leveling I'm going to add a little bit more flow troll. By the way make sure to clean your tablespoon and your cup measure immediately. I've poured the paint into a glass jar and put plastic wrap between the lid and the jar to keep it from skimming over. With a lot of soap I'm going to clean this cup and I'm not ever going to use it again for food. 